I have my guest of the day in today now. Um, I'm joined by Francesca Dawson. Hi, Fran. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank yeah. you. Yes. Have you been into a radio studio before? No, this is my first time. How does it feel? Oh, it's, it's really nice in here. <laughs> it's, it's nice and warm. It's cosy, isn't it? Yes, nice and dark. <laughs> What's it like outside? I got a quick glimpse when I came out. Um, right. Cloudy. So, but I think the sun might try and burst through, hopefully, later. I hope so. So I have my birthday party later, so it's better. And you're going off to a birthday party, aren't you, after this? Well, it was my dad's birthday on Friday, so I'm, I didn't see him then, so I'm seeing him today. Yeah. So. You doing anything nice? or? I will probably pop- go for lunch and give him his present. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, anyway, we're not here to talk about birthdays, are we? We're, um, <laughs> you can see how birthdays move your life. Yes. Um, but you do beautiful drawings of animals. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, um, I, I am, I'm a pet portrait artist and I love drawing wildlife. Um, I really enjoy drawing pets for people. Um, it's where people commission me and... Um, it's just how I how I spend my my free time. Really, I love it. Mm-hmm. So when when did you sort of get into art? Was it quite a young age, or when did it that kind of begin? It was actually down to my mum. I well, she's an art teacher, and ah, I didn't know your mum was an art teacher. That's how we met through your mum, wasn't yes. it? Yeah. Um, she um, on every Saturday morning she'd sit me down with a still life to do and I thought it was normal I thought all kids had to sit down and do drawing on a Saturday and she got me you know, taught me all the skills and yeah I, I just sort of developed developed that way and um, I really I really loved it so obviously I wouldn't she wouldn't have made me do anything I didn't want to do but yeah, yeah and that's how I, I became into art really yes what a lovely thing to do as a child on a Saturday like sit down and do a draw that's so cool yeah I really enjoyed it and um she also took me to lots of art galleries and museums um so when I was I don't know six I was I knew what, what the National Gallery looked like and I think that's really really um it's really helped <laughs> to see other yeah. artists is your mum listening this morning I think so <laughs> morning well because we we met well, I have, this is our first time meeting today actually isn't it yeah. apart yes. from on Facebook so nice to meet you by the way thank you um, but I had um, I went to a coffee morning and your mum was there about six months ago and we got chatting about you so she yes. speaks really highly of you and then I literally oh. just went online and looked at your work and I think that's the great thing when you're an artist is I can just go and look and then straight away you know if you sort of you know if, yes. if you like it or not so oh, um, that's good and it's gorgeous <laughs> And there's other stuff on there, like you draw people, don't you? Yes. Um, when I graduated from university, well, actually during my degree, I looked, I researched fashion illustration quite a lot, so that's how I got into drawing people. And then when I finished my degree, I did do portraits for people, but then people started asking me to do animals and their pets, so that's how I sort of got into doing pet portraits, really. So it just kind of natu- just happened naturally? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was a natural progression. Yeah. So. And so you, you're obviously an animal lover yourself. Yes, I love I love animals, and yeah. um, I love my cat, Mr. Fizz. Ah, and I hear Mr. Fizz can get quite grumpy sometimes. <laughs> yes, he has mood swings, definitely. <laughs> Is he in a good mood today or a bad mood? <laughs> uh, he was actually really grumpy this morning. He, oh, he no cuddles this morning. No, no, not this morning. But I'm sure when he's hungry later, I'll get lots of attention. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like that, isn't it? Yeah, yes. Give them food and they're your best friend. So have you drawn Mr. Fizz? Actually, not yet. Have you um, not? Which is really bad. My husband keeps telling me I really should. Um, so one day I will, definitely. So. Yeah. Um, so what kind of animals are your favourite to, to draw? Because I've seen like, dogs and cats. There's like a st- I love cats. I adore yes. cats and some stunning cats on there. Um, and there's a horse I've seen as well. So yes. what's your ideal I animal actually, to draw? I'm, I'm always up for a challenge. I, I'll try any animal anyone asks me to do. But I suppose cats are my favourite because I've, I've always... My mum and dad have always had cats. And yeah. I'm so used to... To seeing them and I love their eyes they have really incredible colours in their eyes and I really try and get that detail mm-hmm. but I, I do love dogs as well there's some really beautiful dogs out there and um, I had to do a labradoodle a few months ago and that was really fun doing all the curly fur and yeah things. so talking of detail your your drawings are really detailed and I think that's probably what defines you as an artist all the tiny tiny little yes. details tell me a bit about the, the process of actually you know where do you start and, yes. and how does that build Um, Well, customers tend to send me a photograph of an an animal they want me to draw. Um, And then there's a bit of to and froing until we find the right photo. Because I 
I think sometimes photographs can be quite low res and it's, it's better if I have a high resolution photograph because then I can really see the detail in the photograph. Uh, and then once we found the perfect photo, then I'll, I'll start working from that. And it tends to be sort of building up the layers of color. So I'll sketch out the outline first quite lightly and then um, the layers of colour I start with are quite pale and light, so it'll be like creams and pale pastel colours. And then I'll just build up gradually to the darker colours until it starts to look like the dog <laughs> or mm -hmm. cat. Um, and I try and get their personality in as well. Like I have a chat with the customer as well and find out a bit about the animal and um, just try and get a little bit extra um, in the photograph as well, like exaggerate some colours so they really sparkle and shine. Mm -hmm. That's what I try. So how long would it take you to, to do a portrait then? It varies. Because I work full time at the minute, It's I, I tend to work evenings and weekends. So um, And also it depends on the size. But for example, an, an A4 animal will probably take me about three weeks of evenings and weekends. Mm -hmm. And then obviously the larger it goes, the longer it takes. So... So you say so you work full time. So what's yes. your day job? I work as a retail manager at the Devon Guild of Craftsmen in Bubby Tracy. Um, so I, it's, I feel really lucky to work around all the artwork. And so you're surrounded by art all day. How yes. do you balance the two, though, yes. and actually find time for your husband <laughs> and your social life? How, how do you do that? Well, luckily, um, in the evenings, I, I can work till quite late on my drawings, and I don't really have a problem with that, and I can... You know, in front of the television I can just start sketching and um, I've set myself up but I, I have my own studio in my house and then I've also got a space in my lounge so I can tr I can take the pictures where I go really yeah. so lucky I'm not shut away in my studio all, all evening so I'm still quite sociable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for you it's quite um, quite a relaxing thing then to, to actually draw. It's, oh definitely yeah. I, I love it like last night I, I was I'm working on a fox picture at the minute for um, a show that I'm putting some work into later in the summer, and um, I, I can I, I don't have to concentrate. I can there can be people talking in the background, and I can join in, and it's just something I do. Um, obviously, every now and again, I have to see what I'm doing, and you know if I if I'm happy with it. But yeah, yeah it's it's kind of a, a casual thing. It's it's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you can't do you sort of use that as a wind down? I was going to ask you what do you do mm. to wind down, but it sounds like your drawing is your kind of yes. relaxing time. It is definitely. If I have a day off from work and it's in the weekday and my husband's not around, then I will literally spend the whole day just in my studio drawing. It's fine. I'm really relaxed and I, I listen to music as well. I find that quite inspiring and. Um, occasionally I'll put a film on as well I, I do love films so mm -hmm. what's your favorite what kind of films do you watch uh, sci-fi really do you? yes I actually love things like Star Wars and really <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and Star Wars geek in the studio <laughs> yeah. yes very excited about the new films yeah <laughs> and what sort of music is that sort of a variety of music or well my dad used to be in a funk and soul band so I grew up listening to a lot of that kind of music so I suppose the music I listen to tends to be that kind of genre, but I also listen to relaxing music as well, like chill out music. Mm -hmm. So just a variety, really. Yeah, yes. quite an eclectic kind of th things that you do. What does your husband do? Is he arty? He's an architectural technologist yeah. based in Torquay, but he um, he works all around the county um, and he he designs and buildings from from scratch really and mm -hmm. um, he'll also do extensions and things like that so it's really quite nice to look at his drawings as well it's something a little bit different to mine because they're all sort of architectural drawings yeah so very different but we kind of bounce off each other I'll show him my drawing and he'll show him his he'll, yeah. sorry, he'll show me his and then we'll um we'll sort of give each other feedback so it's it is handy having someone else creative in the house definitely yeah. I think I say the feedback's really important isn't it to have that critique how do you find sort of being married and critiquing does that work okay so when yeah. you're that close to someone it obviously works yeah well I, ha I call him my manager so okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm stuck or I'm having an artistic blip I'll say manager please help me <laughs> what do you think I should do yeah. and um, he then um, so it gives me some pointers of what he personally thinks he, I should do so yeah or if something's working or not he'll say oh I think that eye is a little bit dark I think you need to lighten it up or something so yeah. it does really help and I suppose it's the tiny tiny little details that are the bits that really bring it to life so yes and yeah. um, I, I suppose like uh, at the very end of a drawing the the bits you leave white like the glimmer in, in an animal's eye or um 
if there's a very dark section, I think that's really, really important to make sure there's really dark contrast with really light parts of the drawing. So mm -hmm. I think that really makes a picture sing, as my mum would say. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not, I like that. That speaks to me, that does, yes. yes. <laughs> So you said you've got um, a show coming up that you're working on. Some, when's, where's this and when? And It's a lovely um, show in Exeter, which happens every couple of years at the Maynard School, and it's called the Art in Mind Exhibition. And it's this year it's from the 3rd of July to the 5th of July. Um, and it's a charity um, exhibition, but there's usually loads of artists who take part, or big, and some big names there as well. And um, yeah. I'm putting in about four pieces for that. So... Um, really excited about that excellent i have to stick that in my diary because it's literally just down the road from it me is, yeah. so yeah <laughs> but talking you just sort of mentioned big names um who are your inspirations do you have any sort of inspirations art wise or well when i was studying at university i was very much into fashion illustration and subcultural artists especially from japan so i've always loved work by yoshitomo nara and um i find i just find the characters he portrays they're a little bit idiosyncratic or they're quite dark but I quite like that so there's something else going on in his quite seemingly innocent pictures so um, I find that quite interesting the contrast between dark and light and um, so I suppose he's he's my one of my favorite artists and I always still admire his work now so yeah mm -hmm. it sounds like yeah art is a very big part of just your world really isn't it and yeah yeah but we did talk a little bit before we went on air about um Adrenaline junkies, didn't we? And oh, yes. <laughs> and you also you snowboard, don't you? Yes, yeah. I love snowboarding. It's, yeah. It's um, something I try and do once a year. It's yeah. really good you, fun. How, how do you find... I've never been, but it looks terrifying. <laughs> I don't like the idea of having both my feet strapped to the same board. Yeah, it's, it's OK, but I... I suppose it once you've got through the first week of learning, then it's fine. But yeah. I have to say the first week is quite painful. But then once you're <laughs> up and you've got used to it, it's really, really great fun. Uh -huh. It's like surfing on, on snow. <laughs> OK, I might give it a go one day. <laughs> Full body it's armor. It. <laughs> yeah. But we were saying a bit about like the sort of adrenaline you get from like, you know, snowboarding. I said I used to mountain bike as well. There's a similarity with art, isn't there? And kind of putting your creative stuff out there. Would you would you say you find that sort of adrenaline rush? Yes, definitely. Especially if you're working towards a show and you've worked really hard for sometimes up to a year to get, a, you know, a certain number of pieces together. And it's really you do get an adrenaline rush once you've hung it all up and it's all there and it's all done and people come and you know give you their feedback so I think that that's a good side of it also I think when you I find personally when I'm nearing the end of finishing a drawing and it's starting to work for me and I think that you get a bit of an adrenaline rush that way as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is there a standout piece of work that you've done because I mean I've seen several of your drawings but is there one standout piece for you that you've done that you've sort of is special to you yes I think um a few I think about three years ago I did um, a series of drawings based around the Grimm's fairy tales and one of those pieces was based on Red Red Riding Hood and it it did sell straight away and I've it's the one piece I keep getting repeat orders from for prints so um and I just feel something obviously worked in that picture and obviously spoke to other people as well so I'd say that was my most special piece mm -hmm. that I've done to date. Um, and I'm, I'd love to do, you know, you can't always predict when those things will happen, but I'd love to do another piece like that. Mm -hmm. It's just getting the right formula, I suppose, which you know, speaks to people. Yeah, no, it's so true, isn't it? You've got to speak, speak to your audience. I find the yes. same with my music. Yeah, like yes. without their feedback, actually, you don't know. That's how you know if it works, don't yes, you? Yes, definitely. So would you like to go on and do this sort of full time or are you sort of enjoying the day job and that? Mm -hmm. Or would you, in an ideal world, would you like to be doing the portraits full time? Oh, yes, in an ideal world. I'd love yeah. to be a full time artist, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so is that something you're working towards? Yes, hopefully. One day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good luck. It's so, so lovely to meet you and, and hear about you. You can tell that you're clearly really passionate about what you do um just lastly i get my guests to give the t um the listeners some tips so maybe there's some listeners out there that kind of want to get into art yes. or want to pursue their passion a bit more what would you say to them i'd say definitely practice because it i find all the time year upon year i look back at things i've done and i see mistakes and i think oh gosh why did i do that and I think it's just because of the practice and I think you just get better and better the more you the more you do something so I think really devote yourself devote time to it and just keep doing it mm -hmm. definitely 
discipline and uh, <laughs> obviously draw something you're really passionate about and into you because then you'll stay interested in it mm-hmm. yeah okay um one more thing where can people find you online um i have a website which is www.francescadawson.co.uk i'm also um on facebook and twitter so, yes, do you do look me up? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. Um, Thank you. There is um, some pictures of your artwork on my Facebook page, which is Anna Presents. You can also see stuff going on there as well. Um, but yeah, really nice to meet you. Thank you very and much. And enjoy your, enjoy your dad's birthday today. I will. I hope he likes his present. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Francesca.